We're looking back now after you know 25 years of GLAD, and and for you personally, was there any gay and lesbian image that kind of was a turning point in the media that kind of struck out or stays with you? Kind of well, the for me the personal image is Pedro Zamora. In the third season of The Real World, Pedro was on the show. He was gay, he was Latino, and he was HIV positive. And it made, it, you know, it crossed over from the entertainment pages into the news pages, particularly when Pedro got sick after the show. And even President Clinton, uh, you know, commented on him and talked about how important he was as a figure for young people and how important he was to sort of waking people up to the epidemic and being responsible about uh, safe sex and, and taking care of themselves. So for me, it was Pedro Zamora. Were you the one that cast him for the real world? Did you kind of see this possibly playing out as an educational tool? Yeah, when we, we, when we, when Pedro actually um, sent a letter to us uh, asking to be on the show. We were going to San Francisco that season and we were doing outreach in the AIDS community but out of the blue we got this letter from this young man in Miami and I, and I, I was so excited when I read his story because his story alone, without the fact that he was gay, without the fact that he was HIV positive, was a powerful story because he had come over from Cuba in the Mario Boatlift, so he was an immigrant. Um, but then when I met him, I, I knew he had to be on the show, but I also wanted to caution him that being on the show was a stressful process, yet he wanted to do it and he was willing to sort of undergo the stress of the experience because he wanted to get his message out. And we've, we've come so far in the last 25 years, thanks to shows that you've put out there. Um, do you think there might ever be a day where we won't need a media watchdog? Um, you know, I hope there's a day when we don't need GLAD. I think we still need them, because I think while we are seeing um, certainly a lot of great gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual people in reality television, I don't think we're seeing enough of them in scripted television. And so I think we have a ways to go. I would love the day when you have that, you know, lawyer or that, that DA on a, on a Dick Wolf show who happens to be gay, but it's not the reason they're on the show. It just happens they go home to their partner at the end of the day. Project One Runway this last season, oh, it's just incredible. What about Mondo? Did you know that was going to play out like that? I mean, that. Well, Project One Runway. Part, Project Runway is a joy to make. We love making that show. And quite honestly, it's hard to find a straight guy for that show. Uh, and, and Mondo, when we first saw Mondo, we'd actually seen him the previous season and thought he was really interesting, but we didn't think he was quite ready from a design standpoint. And then he, was, he had grown and he was perfect for this season. And, you know, we set up this challenge where um, the cast members would have to take pictures from their, sort of their past and use them as inspiration for uh, their design. And you know, when he came up with that plus symbol, we sort of had a sense of where it might go. And when Nina Garcia said, it's beautiful, but what is the story behind it? We all held our breath. And you know, even he didn't know if he was gonna be able to answer that question. And then he took a moment and then he answered it. And it was just so beautiful. And he feels so much stronger as a result of being open and honest about who he is. Talk about documenting the actual coming out process like that in real time. I and mean, you know, hats off to you for having the you know cameras on him at that moment. You know, that's the excitement of reality television is that you capture things in the moment. You know, if you put a great cast together and you're fearless in how you cast it, you cast all kinds of people, you get these wonderful stories that really represent the tapestry of America. It's just honest, right? <laughs> okay, well, congratulations.